Okay, the readathon started maybe 20 hours ago, nearly 20 hours ago. I haven't read much because I went to sleep at midnight and then I woke up and then I worked all day. I took a shower and I did listen to my audiobook, which I didn't mention in my TBR, but I'm listening to the audiobook Why We Sleep. I listened to 15 minutes of that. I was at two and a half hours through it and then I'm now around two hours and 15 minutes through it. It is now somewhere around 7.30 p.m. of the 16th and I haven't started reading. So here we go. I'm gonna start reading now. I'm gonna start off with The Grim God Oak. I'm going to try and get through a lot of this right now, like tonight. I want to try and get through a good chunk of it. I feel like I'm gonna mostly do my reading on Saturday and Sunday, but if I can get a good head start this night and tomorrow Friday night, won't hurt. Let's start The Grim for Beatrice, dead women tell no tales, sad men write them down. Ah, lemony. It is now 2 p.m. on Friday, the 17th of April. Last night I read 187 pages of The Grim Grotto, so I'm really happy with that. I'm over halfway, and I'm now just finishing off my last couple of hours of work for the week. So I was thinking I could listen to my audiobook while I work because the work I'm doing, I'd be able to listen to something and pay attention to it while I do the work. So, so I'm going to throw my audiobook on, and if I can get a couple of hours of my audiobook done, I'd be quite happy with that. I've been nearly at the halfway point of my audiobook, so let's try and listen to a lot of information about sleeping. At the start of this readathon, I was on two hours and 30 minutes of my audiobook, and I am now on five hours and 40 minutes. I listened to 20 minutes yesterday, and I just listened to another three hours on fast speed. So it wasn't actually three hours, but I did listen to it, and I got through three hours of it while finishing off my work, and then also after work, I read for a bit more. It is now 5.30 on the 17th of April. I'm gonna stop my audiobook for now, but you know, I'm starting to really feel like maybe I could finish my audiobook. And it's really interesting. I'm learning a lot about why I should sleep, like more than I do. I'm more consistently eight hours or I feel like I'm gonna die or something. This book is good though. It's, you know, even though it's scaring me, it's teaching me a lot of things. I'm gonna stop my audiobook for now, come back to it tomorrow and the next day and I'm going to swap over to The Grim Grotto and try and finish The Grim Grotto tonight because that would be amazing if I could finish The Grim Grotto. Here you are. Let's go. I am up to chapter nine. I'm about halfway through. I'm a bit over halfway through. So it's time to finish this off tonight. Alright, I just read another 40 pages. I'm up to page 228. I have just under a hundred pages left now of The Grim Grotto. I just wanted to check in with actually how I'm enjoying this book, which is I'm enjoying it a lot. Every time I read a new installment in this series, I just think that they're getting better and better overall, as in the overarching story is getting better and more intriguing. There's more detail to it and more mysteries being added, but there's also more answers coming out and like the perfect balance in my opinion. And it's interesting to think back on when I had read the first few installments in the series like one to five and then to think of where we're at now and it's it's like you hardly scratch the surface with the first few volumes so if anyone hasn't read this yet I would really recommend to like stick it out to the midway point at least because maybe around book six or seven that's when it actually really starts to pick up and gets really good and I just can't wait to finish this series what I'm thinking is that I really want to finish this tonight and then maybe get started on another book and the fact that I've already made good progress on my audiobook this readathon already is like so good I'm feeling like maybe I can finish all my physical books and finish my audiobook but also I want to get too excited and say I feel like I can finish everything and then I literally finish nothing. Last night I finished Grim Grotto at 12:30 a.m. I was meant to finish earlier but I ended up watching a movie with my housemates and hanging out with my housemates so it was hard to finish the book earlier than that and get started on a new one. And then I woke up this morning, had a shower and I listened to another 20 minutes of When We Sleep. So I'm at six hours out of 
13.5 hours. So nearly at the halfway point of when we sleep. So I'm now going to start reading the penultimate peril. My plan will be to try and get through another book today. Whether that's half of this and half of something else or all of this is yet to be figured out. I'm just going to start reading this and see how I feel, see if I'm vibing it. If I really like it, which I've heard good things about this book, then I'll just continue with this. If I need something else to pick up, then I'll pick something else up and I'll let you know how I go. I am very excited about this one though. It is the second last in the series, so we're really getting there now. For Beatrice, no one could extinguish my love or your house. <laughs> there was a really good cliffhanger at the end of The Grim Grotto, which makes me really excited for this book, actually. <laughs> now 2 21 p.m on saturday i have read half of the penultimate peril and i'm enjoying it a lot so i think i'm just gonna try and finish Run! yes so i'm gonna try and finish this today i'm starting to go a little crazy <laughs> that was my big brother episodes that i've been watching instead of reading However, it is now 7.20 p.m. Saturday night. I am 237 pages in, so I read a little bit more. I want to finish this tonight, as I have already said. I'm going to do that <laughs> somehow. I'm going to watch Jesse the Reader's live stream that he did on the Reading Rush Instagram, and hopefully that will get me to read a little bit. And then once I start reading a little bit, hopefully I'll be able to read a little bit more. Um, and then I know that my boyfriend also wants to Skype and read with me as well. So hopefully through all of that, I'll be able to finish this book. I, okay, it is, uh, it's Sunday. It is Sunday. It is Sunday. Last night I finished The Penultimate Peril. It was really good. I gave it a four out of five stars. It is one of my favorite installments in the series of unfortunate events yet i'm like squinting in the sun right now and i'm really excited that i'm now finally up to the third book the end of that series but i'm not going to read that right now because i want to savor this moment for a bit because this will be the last book of it that i ever read for the first time and i want to hold on to the mystery a bit longer before i find out all the answers so i'm actually going to swap over to a, another book that was on my tbr for this last day and that would be the sandman volume to the doll's house which has a house on the cover in the title <laughs> so this is a comic series by neil gaiman it's the second volume hopefully this will be quite quick to read i'm gonna try and read this throughout today and also try and listen to my audiobook a little bit and i'll be happy if i can do that if i can get through this and also get through quite a bit of my audiobook i'm gonna be happy with that i'm gonna try and aim for 3.5 to 4 books read over the course of this weekend i'm now on two books this will be three books my audiobook could end up being 3.5 or four books we're just not going to talk about miss born we're not going to talk about it I'll come back to it later. Here we go. I'm reading the introduction. This isn't me just reading comic panels. <laughs> I chose The Sandman to be the challenge for read a book in the same room and I have decided I don't really like that challenge. I feel like such a slob staying in my bed to read this book or staying in my, my room, my bedroom. I just want to like go down to the living and just be in like a different area to finish this book. However, it's fine. <laughs> I've done it. I've nearly finished it. It's like around 8 o'clock and I've got four pages left so let's finish this book and then I can go downstairs and do some stuff for a while and then I might come back and read some audiobook later in the night. Done! My third book in four days, which is the quickest I've ever read three books 
at once since I was a kid. I'm actually quite impressed by myself. I mean, I know that there will be other people that will read a lot more, but it's all about personal best. It's all about that PB. I like a readathon because it sort of pushes me to finish off books that I've been wanting to get to anyways, but a bit quicker, so I can move on to some other books that I now want to read, rather than being stuck on those ones for a bit. So, I mean, it's sitting right here, but this would probably be what I need to go to next. Maybe I should just appreciate finishing what I have finished rather than just thinking onto the next one so quickly, but... And yeah, this is really good. I give this a 4 out of 5. I gave Volume 1 also a 4 out of 5. It sort of felt like they were redoing the same plot over again with this book. It's very much, with no spoilers, a bit of like a quest-like plot of things are missing and we need to locate them. And I could tell that they were doing that with the first one, and it was interesting in the first one because it was new, but then to redo it sort of in this one, Okay, however, I do feel that these are going to get better and better with each one. I've got this strong intuition about this series that I'm really going to enjoy them as they continue on. So, I mean, and also the fact that I have that issue with these, but I still give them a 4 out of 5 shows how good they are still. They're pretty good. So I'm really excited to continue with this series and I'm really enjoying them. I love Neil Gaiman. I might end this vlog here, having said that I've finished off The Grim Grotto, the Penultimate Peril, and The Sandman, and I listened to three and a half hours of my audiobook, Why We Don't, Why We Sleep, not Why We Don't Sleep. And maybe later in the night, I might read a bit more of that audiobook, but I'm probably not going to finish it, so I'm going to just leave it with that I read three books, and I'm really happy with that. And that probably means that I completed four of the free challenges because I didn't read the one of read a book set somewhere you want to go because that was going to be Mistborn but there's there's no way I feel like reading Mistborn at the moment. I don't know. Like even just reading all these other books was pretty tiring for me. It being my first readathon, I'm quite proud of myself anyways to finish the other free challenges and read three books for those free challenges. Read a book in the same room. That was Sandman. Read a book that made you smile. That would be The Grim Grotto. And then read a book with the word house on it and that would be this book, The Doll's House. Thank you for watching me complete my first readathon. I am really excited to continue and keep doing these readathons in the future, like maybe do the one in July that's going to be like the complete reading rush, because I feel like this has been a success. For it to be my first readathon and to read three books in four days is quite good for me. I'm definitely proud of myself and I'll see you soon with another video. Probably gonna upload a book and vinyl haul very soon, so watch out for that.